Hey everybody, this is Cliff from Enochian.today and I'm going to talk a little bit about making a prayer in Enochian and my process and doing that and how you might consider doing that. So for the first thing I wanted to mention is why would you do that? Well, one of the reasons might be that you might feel a little bit more holier or you might feel in a, in a holier place if you are doing a prayer in the Enochian language. This is similar to somebody, let's say, who might be Catholic and just prefers the mass being given in Latin, read off in Latin as opposed to whatever their native language is, just because there's sort of a more holy church-like feeling to it. And there's nothing wrong with wanting it in your own language, but sometimes some people are more drawn to the language of Latin itself. And there are certain languages that are like that. Latin is one of them. Ancient Greek, ancient Hebrew, those are a couple of others that I've worked with. And anything that sort of takes you out of the everyday and the ordinary language, it seems to have like this magic to it, the spirituality to it. So I wanted to mention that that one reason is just sort of the feeling, the sense that comes over you, the sense that your spirit is being stirred, because that's important, right? We, we really should be doing things in a heart-focused way. And if doing it in another language from the one you were, you were that it, that's your native language, if, if you are doing that and that helps, that's obviously important. Other prayers, prayer techniques, you might want to be more plain spoken so that your heart can come through that way. And in that case, probably doing the, doing so in your native language is going to be a better move for you. So, but these are just ideas. Regardless of what, what language you choose to, to speak your prayers in or sing your prayers in, you're going to want to be heart focused. And really nothing gets better at that than, than the Lord's Prayer starting off by acknowledging the holiness of God, his name, and and acknowledging that his will should come first. When, you know, so, so that way you're attuning your mind to God and your heart to God. And then after you've done that, you're requesting that your needs are met, give us this day our daily bread, and that you also are saved from evil and that you're also allowing yourself and 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 also the fact that your imperfection and your your mistakes are being over forgiven so that you can continue on and do and just do your best you know and being allowed when we're not doing our best to be forgiven for that just as we don't expect anybody else to be perfect either okay that's a really beautiful simple but yet very elegant way of praying and all of the things that you need to reset your heart, re allow yourself to be more aligned with God, to become quiet and all of those things so that our, our needs are taken care of. You're acknowledging God first, your needs are taken care of. You're not getting into these bad situations. And when that happens, then it's easier for wisdom to come in and for development and growth to happen. So these are all like the wonderful things and advantages that prayer can give. So regardless of how you're doing it, these are these are the things that I'm sort of I'm I'm hitting on to sort of get us to like think about that, right? So, okay. So now let's say you decide to do a prayer in Enochian. How do you word it? How do you get that done? Well, let's talk about it. Next. <laughs> so I have basically outlined a little bit of the, the main focus of prayer here, right? So what are the parts of a prayer? Well, first of all, you're addressing somebody, the divine. You're saying, please, right? Please do this. And usually it's something like along the lines of, please give me X, Y, or Z. Give us this day daily bread, for example, or a let, let a ABC happen. Thy will be done, right? You're basically saying, let your will happen, right? Um, unto, usually, that's part of it. So usually, if you're saying to myself or to somebody else, and then you're saying why, right? 
right? Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. For thine is the kingdom, right? This is why, because yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory. And then usually it's very helpful to say thank you. You know, we, you know, in Christianity, we say, amen, it's almost like a thank you. It's, may it be so, right? But expressing some gratitude, all of these things help, right? So this is very, very basic stuff, okay? So how do you do that when you're doing Enochian? Well, uh, I'm just going to push here, especially volume two of Aaron Leach's The Angelical Language. I'll go ahead and put a link to both of those books in the in the notes. They're both very good, but basically you're going to want some kind of Enochian English, English Enochian dictionary. And, but I'm just pulling from this to show you, give you some ideas. You're going to want this if you're going to request specific things in Enochian. So where do you start? Well, first, obviously, who are you going to address? You're going to address God. So you need a name of God in Enochian. And there are a lot of them. So you may be calling out various aspects. Yad means God, Na means Lord, it's sort of like Adonai. And I apologize for this, so just bear with me here because I redid this. So this part right here, let this divine be divine joy into thee. Why am I saying that? That's the version of please, right? What do we say when we say please? We are saying, may it please you to do this. <laughs> may it please you to do that, right? If it please you, sir, right? We forget that please is actually shorthand. May this thing bring you pleasure, right? May it make you happy. Okay. So in other words, you were telling God, may this be divine joy. Now, why am I going to tell this trouble? Because there isn't any Nokian word for please, okay? So instead, I came up with this phrase, let this be divine joy unto thee. And we're speaking to God. So the Enochian for this is eeks oe, let this. Noan is sort of may be, let this may be. Noan become, so you could say noan or no, noan, either one. Uh, divine joy or the joy of God, mozod. So in other words, we're telling God, let this be divine joy to you. So God's biggest joy is divine joy, right? Not just regular mos or joy, but divine joy, mozod. Let this be divine joy unto thee. And then, or an alternative to this is, of this, let there be divine joy unto you. Now, the reason why I'm hesitating with this is that this phrase, Christios, it's pretty much what God says at the beginning of creation. Let there be light. That word Christios is equivalent to that, right? Or it seems like it to me. So now we, you know, we can argue in theology and stuff like that. But if you're taking a sort of pantheist, panentheist, well, it's okay for us to request that there be something because we are partakers in divinity and all of that, a small spark of that. Regardless, this is an alternative to that. So, D-O-E, Christios Mozod, Pam Tiosai. Of this, let there be divine joy unto you. D of this, it's basically saying, let uh, let this thing be divine joy unto you. And that's why it's broken out this way. Okay. So this thing that I'm about to tell you of this, may you take joy into it or whatever the case may be. Okay. So the next part, I'm just giving an example of thinking something you could request. You might request peace, atharzai, and comfort, blyor. So give peace and comfort. Pretty basic, right? An alternative might be, you might say, ex let whatever, you know, and you would need to look up the rest of that. Pomped just means unto. And here's where you're going to talk about who. You might say me, <laughs> you know. So you could say, you if you're going to speak about yourself and you want to you want to do the pronoun. You can't really do that. You could say ol, but really ol means it's sort of like when God is speaking about himself. So that's what you see here with the calls. So you could say, you could try dol. I used to 
you know, go along those lines. But the more I'm studying, the more I'm thinking, eh. Uh, so that would mean something like of I or me. You know, obviously we're going to be speaking to angels in our, in the broken angelical that we do. We're, we're not, we're not native speakers of this. So you could say pumped old, you know, unto I basically. So sorry about that. I shouldn't have said the old, but pumped old, that might work, but it might be easier to just say unto this heart, which is oi monans. Sorry about that. M O N. I mean, I'll just write it again. <laughs> Monons. Okay, let let this. So starting from here, let this be divine unto the joy unto the, and you could even like add the name of God. Uh, J I D A, for example, highest God. Comma. So let this be the divine joy unto thee, Jaida. Sometimes I'll just start, you know, usually I'll say something like, you could do this either way, obviously, but I would say, Jaida, let this be, you know, highest God, let this be divine joy unto thee, Jaida, Ixoi, Noal, Mozod, Pomtil, Sai, let this may, let this be, or let this may be uh, divine joy unto thee. Dilugar, Atharzai, Od, Blyor, give. Peace, give peace and comfort unto Pomt Uimonans unto this heart. And it's implied because you know you know what you're saying, and you know your spirit is sort or sort of oriented unto you. You're saying, please give peace and comfort unto myself. And then the question is, why? Right? And then you say, Well, for this reason. Fefen to the intent that. You know, you may say to the intent that so-and-so may be happy, you know. You know, so you would say something like, we'll see neen, you know, that so-and-so would be happy or strong, you judge, whatever the case may be. So you would have, so that's why, right? Please, God, please do this thing, you know, so that, you know, somebody may be happy. And then you wrap it up by saying thank you. And unfortunately, just like with the word please and thank you, you know, we don't quite have an equivalent to that. But what you can say is something like uh, this word, oe crimai, singing praises, is saying, hey, you're great. You know, so saying, you know, this heart sings praises unto the God. Oe monans, oe crimai, pomped, yosai, yad. Something like that, right? So that is what it looks like. You just say whatever it is that you're requesting, you know, and, you know, you can add in all of these words. You could add in Jim Ganza. I'll go ahead and write that one down. Jim Ganza is very basic, you know, shorthand um, for your will be done. And you can add in a whole bunch of words like this. I'm not going to show you absolutely everything. I'm not here to like you know, undo the work that people like Aaron Leach and people before and after him have done. But this would be a very quick way to say, you know, um, your will be done. And add in and sort of just orient yourself to your position and to the position of the divine. The position of the divine is everywhere. <laughs> so just just bear that in mind. But this is a very, just a very quick overview, letting you know, you know, my thought pattern. And obviously, as you go along, you're going to think of other stuff and say, okay, well, this is going to be better for me for this reason or that reason. And that's great. And if you come up with something like that, do leave that in the comments, because this is going to help other people figure out how to work through Enochian, how to, um, how to get things going so that you know, it gives other people ideas because we're all working with this system that doesn't have a huge number of practitioners, but they're very dedicated. So I do recommend uh, just thinking that through. So now, last thing I wanted to say is that this is not really something that is in the Enochian uh, diaries, the John D. diaries. So 
is this part of the original system? Yes and no. Um, the angels were often praising God and, you know, doing this, that, and the other thing. Not only explaining to John Dee and Edward Kelly what, what Enochian, what, what the system was, but also there was a, a lot of um, basically Sunday sermons almost from the angels. So, and tis the season, right? So, so it's not technically something that the angels were showing Edward Kelly and John Dee to do. That being said, I did get a lot of inspiration about different prayers. I made, I wrote up like 111 of these. I think that's the only, that's the pinned post that I have on my blog. Um, so this is, this is much more, um, you can always pray to God, obviously, whether what, de whatever denomination you are, if you're a Christian, let's say, I mean, you could do it from, you know, not even necessarily being a uh, Christian, but the point is, is that this is much more of a, of a direct to God kind of thing using the same language that the angels revealed to us. So I like it. Anyway, this is these are just some ideas and thoughts. I am going to recommend once more that Aaron Leach book to you, specifically volume two. Volume one is also very good. It focuses much more on pronunciation and thinking through the calls themselves, but there are also little goodies in there, such as deriving an Enochian angel name based on your astrological birth chart. So he did a really good job. I mean, Aaron Leach is, is one of the luminaries. So I do recommend his books, his Scott Stenwick's, Lon Milo Duquette's, Jason Louv's book about the history is really good. Deborah Harkness's book about the history and the, specifically the intellectual history. Jason's is much more of the magical history. Deborah Harkness's is much more of the, um, the, the academic history or the the intellectual currents that were going on at the time so anyway uh give this a shot uh let me know how it goes and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments okay thanks bye